Time to play some civilization We'll be leading an intervention And to keep our things in balance We'll be playing one city challenge So yes, indeed, one city challenge as Gandhi of India We'll be going also for the Bollywood achievement which is to win a cultural victory as India We'll be in less than 3 cities to make it even harder We'll have only one city because of the one city challenge so it's two achievements in one We'll play on Emperor difficulty to not make it uh, really complicated I'll add an another civilization because I don't like the even numbers so I always add one that is Everything is uh, basic in here for billionaires, temperate, normal, medium, standard, Pangea. So, this will help me a little with the trade routes to another civilization. But without further ado, let's do it! So, India. We have the population growth inequality, which means we'll get less unhappiness from. In the population our city which doesn't really matter because we will be having only one city because of the one city challenge uh, especially when it's war elephant mm, it's okay but we won't be fighting a lot so it doesn't matter and new gutter fall provides two extra tourism and extra culture two extra tourism after flight is research so uh, pretty much late of the game and it's not much of the difference but uh, still nice benefit so this is interesting start, to say at least. I wasn't uh, doing any reloading or anything like that. There's a couple of possible uh, places to start. Here's a mountain, which is really good, and there's hills next to it, which is even better. Given if that is a sea, this is really strong starting location. If not, uh, still all right. Here's a desert, but I don't think I'll be moving closer into that. <sighs> Let's just scout. And it has a sea, um, hill, and a mountain. So uh, we'll be going down there. Uh, so we get really, really lucky. We'll lose on some resources, but uh, hopefully there are still some in there. Yep. I mean, uh, there aren't luxuries, but the cows are good for food. Stone is alright for the production. So we have Delhi in here, which we will start with Monument. I already started with the Scout, uh, but since it's one city challenge, it's not so important. And uh, Bollywood, that's the name of achievement. I think it is. I'll check it but <laughs> later on. But I think it is. And we're going to research pottery. We are a little behind on tech and uh, culture, but uh, it's worth, since we have almost perfect location. If the river was right, like, right there, it'd be perfect over here. It's still not bad. And here's a... Uh, some city-state, but we also find the ruins, so that's perfect. And we have horses, uh, not that we need them. Uh, that's still nice. If you are playing one city challenge, you should always. There is like no excuse not to micromanage a city. Because uh, there will be little to do anyway. And it looks like the end of the continent from this side. Uh, so it is always good. Kahokia! Which is nice until, which is not really useful because uh, it will basically provide the happiness for us, uh, which is not really important. The important one for the culture victory is to deny the AI, the um, culture city states. Hello, Polynesia. You'll have a lot of uh, culture. So, this will be the hardest opponent to surpass our tourism versus his culture because because of the Maori statues really annoying um shine although i don't see a really good religion for us maybe that one that focuses on quality plus the faith from that uh, not really too strong let's go for science because science is going to win us everything especially since we'll be having only one city we have to focus on that even further, oh, 
the cows are available. Let's make sure that we work that. That is lava. Richest culture. And uh, they might... Uh, want to take off my lands, which uh, I have to... If I will have to, I will spend money. And I'd rather not do that. It's a tradition. Obviously. <laughs> Since this is one city challenge, plus three. He'll go after me. I don't have a worker yet, so it's fine. It's really mind. Marako. No, Lu Akbar. I like Akbar even. <laughs> I cannot even make a joke. Uh, anyway, uh, he'll have a lot of culture as well, and he is uh, usually prioritizing that, so. Um, that's nice. I'll have some competition when it comes to this uh, culture victory. Okay, five generation, and now. Gana, you're a worker. I can always steal a worker. Let's go for granary. So if I move to the right, I'll be close to the desert, and uh, Petra would be awesome in here. But on the coast, I'll have uh, access to the trade ships, which will benefit my gold much more, which is really good. Given I will be less inclined to trade with our inland inland cities, but uh, it's fine. Mm. Let's go for the quarries now, or the archers, but uh, quarries first. And then we'll adapt. Like he's going his borders in this direction already. So uh, one, two, three. The lake, and lake is alright, but... Uh, I don't really want to lose that here, since on the you cannot afford to lose any tiles on the one city challenge that is, and another city states. Wow, interesting. Pantheon found it. So somebody already went for the Pantheon I wanted, which is plus five, plus two faith from the quarries. Uh, I don't see any the Pantheon for me anymore then. Take that, and then we we'll buy into that, and that should do. I should get another gold from that now. Riga, Martima, which provides us the food, which is alright for us. Not super important though. Bratislava will be our highest priority. That's why I don't want to piss them off with stealing the lands with a general or something like that. Uh, library, I don't think I will be able to finish great library before for other civilizations, so... Um, another city-state. Wow, so I'll be surrounded by those, which is good, actually. Unless somebody will wipe them out, which probably will not happen. Um, now... The culture ones are usually bad, so... Uh, I don't have any tundra, I don't have any deserts. don't have copper, iron, and salt. Maybe I have iron, but... Uh, This is really bad. Fertility, right? It's not too bad. But I think I'll go with the Godkin. Which is, uh, yeah. I think it makes more sense. The Godkin of India, plus one culture, five gold, protection and science in the palace, which, uh, yeah, should do. And I'm going tradition, always uh, be lining to land at elite, which is plus two food in capital and plus 10% growth. Which really helps with the um, growth of the city, which is uh, that what you need. This uh, setting, versatile, another. Nah. At least I, I will not be able to get uh, much culture from the city-states, that is. Let's go up. 
and uh, yeah, so far it's going pretty well. Temple of Artemis has been built. Don't know where. Masonry. All I need is worker now. Looks look like that. Here he is. Uh, thank you. I won't need any more. So that was right call to build the granary and then go to the library. Uh, let's go with archery. If I need uh, like one or two archers to defend. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Won't happen again. That is the stealing from you. Not even from you, from your ally. I'll rescort him, just in case. I have barbarians pretty close to my city, so... Uh, <laughs> It'll be stupid to steal from them and then lose it to barbarians. And uh, I don't think he will be able to steal. He can steal that because that's uh, way too far for my borders. How about this? One to three, one to three. Two, three. But he's far ahead from that. Far away even. Uh, I don't need the wheel for this one. Do I have any resources? Uh, nope, nope, and nope. So, calendar and then philosophy probably makes more sense. Or I could be lying to mathematics, which I don't really know which is better. Let's go for the mathematics. Ah, wall, mausoleum. Hmm, nothing of that is really good. Let's put a couple of archers. And then, maybe some naval trade routes, embassy, sure, show me where you are, not, not too close, he'll expand probably towards me, which I don't have problem with, which means more gold for my trade routes, which is always good, since I'm losing gold actually now, uh, yeah, another archer just in case, and that will be it for the military <laughs> units I need. <laughs> Given I'll have to obviously upgrade them later on. Hey! Plus experience from that. Not experience. I mean experience as well. <laughs> but reputation if city state. I haven't played in civilization for so long that I forget uh, some of that terminology. I'm gonna leave you on that hill and uh, yeah, quarry here. Sounds good. Always excess that production. Just uh. Nice. <laughs> this is a really hard choice. I'm going to go for the mausoleum. I don't want to really build the caravans. It not yet, anyway. Because caravans are usually bad. I mean, they're always worse than the trade ships. And I don't want to delete, delete them after a like, couple of turns after building that. So, here's that. And, uh, I'll get 16 gold after all this spent, uh, Barbarian camp. Oh, here's Monarchy, which should solve my gold problem, and it did. Um, I don't really want to farm XP on this guy, so I'm going after this little guy. And uh, I'm losing gold. What? I'm not longer losing gold. They want marble, which I don't have. Uh, Karotcha, I want that trade route. Where are you? Yeah. I will send you some trade ships. Later on. So, yeah. I'm gonna research trade ships afterwards. And Mausoleum of Heracles is alright because I have the. Um. We have a lot of uh, 
planes close to us, so QSC. And yeah. So shock for you. With mausoleum it will provide with plus two gold, which is alright. And uh, also with Each great person I spend will provide me with extra 100 gold, which is really good as well. So you can rest here. Uh, you can scout ahead actually. Can do that and rest within our borders to make it faster. Right, someone will create your library, which isn't really weird or anything like that. Hey, vibes are coming. That's why this archer is going down there. And uh, now I have to focus on the sailing. Probably I have to build one or two trimies to defend the trade routes from the pirates, which means barbarians. Uh, so, go work the cow. Sure, let's work together. I'm trying to play this game extremely peace peaceful. I won't be fighting anyone. Silly, it is, it is possible as a one seed challenge, but uh, I'm not fight going after that. That's way too far for me. Hopefully, my locals will take care of that. Rested. You are rested. Which is fantastic. Are you done by Bayans? Now the city can shoot you. And you can maybe quiet from this side actually. Since I don't want to lose the improvements or the worker for that matter. So I have sailing. Now let's go for the philosophy. To boost our science. Even more. Mausoleum. Huh. Cargo ship or hanging gardens. Let's go for one cargo ship and then we go for the hanging gardens. Sounds good to me. Since we already have a mission to make that trade it. Why are you going in 15 turns? What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Yes, you should work that. You should work that. Uh, yeah, it looks good. I'll probably have to just build more farms. That should provide the vision. So hopefully... Oh, you are allies with uh, Morocco, which is really bad. You are annoying. Who is there? Barb camp. It's only one guy close to it. It looks like it anyway. You can rest. Uh, not reason to send you without the full power. Is the trade ship. So, Kahokia wants a trade. Which I'll be happy to provide. Uh... Yeah, let's focus on the grow. So uh, I'm going to build the farms right there. Uh, somebody has a composite bowman technology. Uh, plus one production, plus one. Uh, hmm. Yeah, sure. Why not? I want to see if anybody went tradition though. Probably. Uh, diplomacy overview, global politics. Yep, Marco went tradition and Kamehameha went piety. So he'll be, he'll, he'll be having a religion. That's for sure. And, uh, Pantheon, the defensive one. Which I don't really like it. Like, ever. But, uh, I suppose it's not the worst one. Yeah, you focus on that farm. We have to go. 
and uh, I actually have to heal up. No aristocracy, Just fantastic, and uh, it will help us build the hunting gardens even faster, which will solve us the f food problem <laughs> for a long time. This is food. Become friends with Polynesia, alright, so we have a little triangle diplomacy in here. That is that uh, we like each other extremely. That was the time of to end this episode. Which, uh, yeah, it went pretty good. I mean, we should be going to the city faster, but it's doing alright. I'm not complaining. We are safe under my barbarians. Um, have all the important buildings with mausoleum of Heraclius, which isn't really important, but uh, it's nice to solve it from the right. So thanks a lot for watching this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.